Fuel for this thing was 120 bucks to put 30 gallons in this thing, but we're a three quarter tank, we're rolling. Uh, we'll get back to work tomorrow, but why not enjoy the sunshine today? Hope you have a good one, and see you on the next one. Two AM delivery. Let's go get it done. Dollar Tree, Cherry, Cherokee Country, Cherokee County Regional Distribution Center. Okay. One thirty-five AM uh, early morning. I've delivered here. I don't know. Not ten times. Per but more than five, probably six, seven times. Not bad. They make you uh, about two hours on the dot. Never, I've never been here over three hours, you know. It's always pretty much two hours. Let's turn our lights off and see what they have to say. Got a bunch of signs up. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, I like it. Look it up, cool. Yeah, not in a while, but I've been here about four or five times. You need uh, maps now. I know the very back? Yeah. All around the back, yep. And then check in over there and they'll give me a door? Yeah. Right, cool. Uh, they're not answering. Okay. Uh, the phone. But they should be over there probably. All right, just ring that bell inside there. Yeah, the prize is a joke and laughing around. All right, all right, I'll You're make good. it. Up. Thanks, man. Checking anybody in, or is that them? No, we're we'll checking for y'all on break for the 15 minutes. There'll be a clerk to get you door. So, 2.30? Yeah, 2.30. So, I know. had a 2 o'clock appointment, but they go on break at 2 o'clock? That makes no sense, right? Sure do. Yeah, and the guard should have told you that when you came through. They should have not scheduled it at 2 o'clock. Oh, well, sometimes you get here early and we do accept you. So you go get you in your door. So, you get here before, you get here early, you're good. You get here on time. You gotta wait 30 minutes. Unless there's been a schedule change because of business needs for our flip schedule, we might actually take break at 1 or 1 30 because uh, of how it works out. So actually, it's it shoot always the dark. changes, huh? It's shooting the dark. But if you have a high case count load and usually bring high case counts to receiving on night shift, yep. please let me know and I'll try to get you a door as soon as possible. I just took a load to get home, man. I live in Simpsonville, South Carolina. I came from Atlanta and I said, I'll bring some chips to Dollar Tree. It is it's the chips? Yeah. It's oh, like you're stacks. The Are you the floor? No, they're pallided. Yeah, they're you got, they're like saran wrapped. You won't be here long. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Well, they may already have, actually, they may already have you. You've been here before? Uh, not in like four or five months, but I've been oh, here. Oh, I'm just a private carrier you with some a solo truck. But it's like a bunch of chips from uh, Quaker. Around the other side? Yeah, so you, when you came in from the guard check, we started at two. So you're going to come up to 32. You're going to go ahead and open your doors back up. Um, Chalk your wheels, pull your rig away from your uh, trailer just a little bit. Your light will change from green to red when we start to unload you. When you're unloaded and your freight has been uh, checked and received, you'll have a bill of lading stamped into the right or left hand bottom. Okay, cool. So after that, side, head back that, you're good to go. Uh, still a few minutes before we'll unload you. That's right. Uh, I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> 
Hi, doodly dudes. <laughs> What's up? Whoa! Hi. <laughs> uh. Hugs. <laughs> What's going on? You guys are playing Connect Four? Uh, yeah, man. We're going to get some food and go to Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah, baby. What happened? Oh, Lucy got you? Okay, I'll get her. I'll hold you too. One second. Uh, so we decided uh, it's getting nice and warm outside. Why not take the boat out? So T Dubs and I are gonna. That's good right there, Kason. That's good, Kason. That's good, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Can I go in there? You can go in. You can go around the boat also. <laughs> Got to get cover off and uh, get all the little dirty areas, the cleaner wax and stuff. Check the tires pressure. Have a fun time with the boat tomorrow. So how? Well, Wally World. Which one's you taking? Too big or a little? I'll take too big or a little. I don't care. You want to take little? Doesn't matter. This is little, by the way. I'm not very little. So where do, what do you have to do? Uh, I guess I'm not going to go pick up the Home Depot stuff. Yeah. So I can go to Walmart and get this stuff. Can the I cleaner. Use this? Yeah. Hangers, need. hangers. Okay. Well, let's open this boat up first <laughs> and get these covers off and see what's going on. And then I got a load tonight. Um, picking up right here in Duncan, going up to Asheville or like Hendersonville. So that'll pay for fuel for this good old beast right here. And if you watch out, if you watch 3BB today, uh, my son's channel, which is right here, uh, we did a little something on the Trans Am and we also saw a Jeep show. So check that out. That's where we got this at. Let's get this cover off. Ready? One, two. There we go. Nicely done. I just got to get a little bit of the cleaner wax. Get this cleaned off. Oh, yeah. Get ready for boat season. Okay. But right now, we got to hit Walmart and get that stuff. I really should have done like a before and after picture, but like this grime right here, you can kind of see, that was all over this, all over that, kind of just the winter, you know, the, the mold and stuff. And Amsoil, Amsoil Adam, he has a, uh, a YouTube channel right here. Check him out. He sent us all this stuff like last year, and this, this stuff right here is working crazy good, so... It's an all-in-one cleaner and kind of wax. I just spray it on, let it sit, and then I'll hit it with one of these uh, sponges or this bristle, and man, you'll see it right there. Oh yeah, a little bit of elbow grease, and she is clean. I like it. Good stuff. Thanks, Amsoil Adam. Get this thing cleaned up and ready for tomorrow. Okay, we are making massive progress. You see all that? It doesn't come off. Um, all this right here from the cover uh, does not come off. You can scrub, scrub, scrub all you want. It does not come off. But <laughs> if you use this stuff from Amsoil Adam and a uh, like a magic eraser, oh yeah, all that is done. Now look at this side. Beautiful. All of it's gone. And it's pretty effortless too, it just comes right off. So get a magic eraser and some of that Amsoil Adam Miracle Clean and have a fun time at the lake. Well, before I get started with the new pad on this side, uh, somebody had a question for me inside the house. So gotta do what you gotta do. What was your question? Kind of you do it so you want me to battle you? Yes. Uh huh. We'll take a break for a battle. I'm down with a little bit of trouble. My goodness, we are running out of time for uh, getting this thing done. But we got the front bow nice and clean. We shampooed and cleaned the uh, all the inserts for them, letting them dry now. Oh yeah. And then uh, put those back in in the morning. Get ready to go. But she is clean. Should be a fun first day, but I got to go pick up this load at midnight. So I'm going to relax for a little bit till then. Okay. Boat days coming up. Okay. 10.30 a.m. There is already a spider. Who has made their way to a, a web up there. It's less than a couple hours, but we are... Um, charging those batteries and we booked this load for midnight till it was 4 a.m get some sleep come back here at 10 a.m <sighs> let's go to the lake 10 a.m or noon but 
neighbors, oh my goodness, when they cook, it smells so good. Comes right across the uh, street. Let's get this girl and go fire up this W900. So this load, middle of the night like the uh, last one, it's uh, lows to lows. So we'll see <clears throat> what we're dealing with. But right now, let's uh, fire up this old girl. I really do dig the uh, star headliner. That is pretty cool. Cool feature. season it's gonna be about 82 degrees and, and today after about 2 p.m. 3 p.m. it was pretty warm so I took my shirt off and got some Sun I had to rewire the trailer a little bit because the extension that uh, I had redone wasn't quite long enough if I took a hard right or hard left turn it would kind of yank on the, the cords the wires going to the um, back of the bumper for the truck so redid that cleaned up the boat I got a little bit more to do and I still got to wax it it's kind of dull right now but it's, at least it's clean so let's get checked in here and then pick up I guess whatever kind of appliances we're picking up you know appliances going to Hendersonville North Carolina a lot of bobtails here let's see what we got Somebody ordered a, an $8,000 refrigerator and needed a delivered RMT, yeah. Okay, Yeah, RMT uh, freight, yeah. R and Ricky Mary Tommy. There you go. Yeah, somebody wants a refrigerator real bad. Trailer's 531-446. Picking up for JB Hunt. J Good old JBH. JBH. Uh, JL. That's the way everybody should do it. Like, what are your initials? Like, you don't need to spell my whole last name. Okay, we are checked in, at least with a guard check. Now we got to go to the shipping office. But uh, she's like, I'm getting out of here. So I hope somebody else is coming in. Uh, and it says 250 pounds. I don't know if that's a typo or what, but uh, maybe it's just one refrigerator that somebody needs up in Hendersonville, North Carolina. Who knows? Who knows? But we will take it to them. So let's go check in. Don't know when that's going to change, but uh, this truck had 600 and what? 637, 627. I can't remember. I'll have to watch back my old video, but. 700,000, so that'd be the first 100,000 uh, change I've had since I've owned it. But as of right now, we're still sitting at 699, but we'll get there. All right, let's go check in. 
six ninety nine. Good, how you doing? Good. So I didn't want to ring it. I thought someone would find oh, me. Oh, you have to ring it because yeah, I'm the only back. one in no here. No worries. Uh, I got, it says 250 pounds going to Mont Mill City, North Carolina. I got a 201 number. J.B. Hunt. What's the last for the BOL? 9330. 9330? Yeah. And you said going where? Mill City, North Carolina. Like Hendersonville area. Kind of just right above us. Yeah, 9330. Don't get me to sign on it. I don't know. I'm just They said be here at midnight, so I'm here. Okay. Uh, that live love right now. Okay, that's it's cool. It's going to be about an hour at the most. Do you want me to put it in the door and just go to sleep, or no, I don't have a door ready yet? Just go ahead and have him put it in the door. West 112. 112? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Thank you. When you say west, that means on this side? Other okay. side? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. And then green light to come back here? Yeah, you can come back in here. This has got to be delivered at 4 a.m., so I figure come back here like at 2 a.m.? Uh, we won't be here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but it should be ready in about an hour. Okay, so, so pick it and throw it on. If you want to, you can leave your number. Yeah. Um, I leave here at 1. We all leave at 1. Okay, so, so if you didn't hear before 1 o'clock. <laughs> okay, so they, they know who I am, but uh, it took them a while to figure out what the load was. But the guy in the back's like, yeah, I got the live load. So 112 on the other side of the building, and... Um, this will be about an hour before it's ready, or like when they start loading it. So, and I have to do it by 4 a.m. So she took my phone number, and uh, we will get a call because they're they're done here at 1 a.m. So hopefully it's done by one, and then we can start heading up the mountain. So we got a little problem. Got any little problem? Uh, there's a trailer in 112. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> one tenth better. 111 I saw was over. I'm going to look for myself. All right. Um, you got cameras? No. Okay. <laughs> but I can look it up here. I know 11 was open. I didn't see 10, though. I'm pretty sure it was open, too. But 12 definitely had a GP uh, trailer in there. West 110. Okay, yeah, West 110. 110? Okay. All right. I'll be in it. Thank you. All right. Thank you again. No problem. So we'll see how this goes because <laughs> the light was already red when we uh, backed into it. So we're gonna lay our head down for a little bit, but if they're done at one o'clock, that's only about an hour from now. So let's pray they get it on here. Let's see what happens. There is the 700. So they yelled out this door, told me to disconnect from the trailer drop the landing gear so I did all that uh, heard him load the trailer and then heard him dump the trailer and it's unlocked now come on focus there you go but the lights must be uh, malfunctioning so I don't know nobody home nobody yelled at me and told me uh Hey man, you're done. So, <laughs> we shall see, but I, uh, yeah, we're definitely unlocked. So I'll pull around and go to the front, but we should get a phone call soon. So yeah, we are definitely loaded. Uh, it looks like it's more than 250 pounds, but definitely just a couple of refrigerators and refrigerators and a dishwasher, maybe. Who knows? Just like we were waiting for three weeks for our dishwasher okay thank you Lowe's we're gonna go ahead and get this thing uh, sealed up give you one of those heavy-duty seals five ninety nine six ninety okay that's what we'll tell them loaded ready to go right, so so okay there we go Lowe's Mills River right. you are good about 4 a.m. get some sleep and we'll go to lake tomorrow. Uh, there awesome. you are. Thank you so much. You're See you next time. Have a good time. You too. Thank you. 
let me tell you what, guys. I found this place, but uh, it does not exist on the maps. It takes you to like a house. So another one of those great GPS locations. People are working here. We have a 4 a.m. appointment. It is not even 2 a.m. yet, so I'm going to see what people have to say here. But man, tries to take you down a small little road, and then uh, this place doesn't exist on maps. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go check out what's going on. Cool. Where do you want me to just? Okay. Well, I put it on the red right here? Yeah, door 14. Right here. Oh, door 14. Is yeah. that this one? Yeah. All right, cool. Put it right there. Give it a line, go up, I'll come back. They cut it. it. Cool. Thanks, man. Major score. That is awesome. He knew who I was, knew what was going on, and he said, get in that door next to this trailer right here, and uh, they'll cut the seal. Well, that's awesome. So we'll get unloaded about two hours early. And that is awesome. We hit the door. And they already got it red. Okay, get these couple things off the truck, and uh, we might as well head back home, you know? I was going to sleep up here and wait till 4 a.m., but it's not even 2 a.m., so we're going to head back down the 60 miles to home, and that'll be a good 800 bucks for uh, fuel for this big old girl and for that boat tomorrow. Well, hello there. Are you eating a donut? Yes, you are. But we're finally fueled up. Beautiful day, 80 degrees. Time to uh, get some fuel in this thing. And lake's right that way, about 20 miles, 25 miles. I used a little higher octane because if we put some uh, stabilizer in there, it's a big old tank, so I'm not gonna be able to get diesel. Took us long enough to try to get to this pump because the two pumps over there are closed, but hey, you can't complain, beautiful day. We finally made it. Let's back this thing in. Let's get this thing in there. We got some big curbs on both sides, like probably 12 inches high. So, got poor guy up here. He's changing a tire. He probably curved one. So, gotta be careful. Nice and slow. And I still got to disconnect the front of the boat so she can be free. Reminder one more time to drop the uh, motor down. two feet from that that curb it's a nice day 78 degrees about 2 30 in the afternoon we went to the, the new marina with the kiwi marina and uh, there's all these little red signs that were sitting there where and it said um boat ramp closed <laughs> we're like all right we were, that's our first time ever trying here we always go here usually you ready what's that it'll make a different noise that sure you are down all the way all right back her in and just like that boat season has started again i love it let's get out of here without hitting any uh has commenced guys um, I don't know why but the two little ones actually want to play in the bathroom okay. <laughs> he's like open the door, the door. <laughs> so either way God bless you we got some fuel for this thing it was 120 bucks to put 30 gallons in this thing but we're a three quarter tank we're rolling uh, we'll get back to work tomorrow but why not enjoy the sunshine today hope you have a good one see you on the next one